um, I've got a fabulous release this time. It's um, that it, it just surprises me that I'm still here with because the, <coughs> well because the dilutions rate. I was brought in as the niche market. I was brought in as the niche because it was so weird. It was only going to uh, you know there's only going to be so many a certain amount of people attracted to it etc and now it's not and I know I haven't got any more normal so you lot and your customers have got weirder obviously because now it's mainstream and it's just unbelievable so it's nice to have um, to be able to finally do some to do some offshoots and things like that the first thing I've got is the paints I've got six new paints same formula as the other ones there's loads of, you know I, I don't know if you know but I do lots of videos on every product problems that might crop up and things like that so always if you look on the ranger site you can head your customers towards them but every product we've done we've got this time and um, I've done videos I did them with Brianna before Christmas and there's little five minute videos on everything coming out and then we'll do some more in-depth ones as well so the warms we've got the uh, tangerine dream the cherry pie and the pomegranate seed and in the cools we've got the uh, dirty martini the Calypso Teal and the After Midnight, okay? You can see up on the boards there where they've all fitted in. That's a new board at the top, so you can see the colours. Because people are like, well, what's the difference between that and orange and the other orange? It's a different orange, do you see what I mean? So there's the boards that are up there. And I think, what is the make and take? Is the, the charts on Tuesday my paint? The charts on Tuesday, are they my paint? No. Oh, I think it's my paint. You know the charts that you all make that you can take back for your stores? I'm sure it's my paint, so you should have a little colour chart with them all in. So that's the first thing. And then the other things that I'm really excited about is I've always collected, loved to collect little bits of other people's art. I remember 20 years ago sending off some Tisha Moore postcards and they cost me a fortune in import duties and that. And the idea was I would give them to friends. I've, I've still got them. I don't give them, I just look at them and do. So I, I've been wanting some for a while. So these are journal pages from my big ledger journal that we've had shrunk down. So we, they come in a pack of eight. You can see on that row there. And what's nice, people can just collect them or they can use them or they can they can just be inspired like I was inspired. Um, and if nobody likes them, I get to stroke them all, so that's cool. <laughs> we also have the same images, but this time in sticky back canvas. So it's the same sticky back canvas that we sell in big sheets, but we've taken these big images and we've shrunk them. Again, I sew, I'm a dressmaker, so I've, um, I sew them and use them in products like oh, things like this. So you can leave the back on and make little products. You can back them, you can sew them in. They can just stick them straight in the journal, just like this. And that board there has got lots of the canvas images on. And the idea is now so many people are getting interested in it, they, they don't know where to start, they don't know what to do. So I'm hoping that this will just inspire them. This is what I've done and then they'll do it. They can, they can easily take something, stick it on. Because people say to me, oh, I've just done my first journal page and it doesn't look anything like yours. And I'm like, really? Because it's been like 15 years. Give yourself a break. Crafters are too hard on themselves. They expect to be able to do it. So something like this will just help them pop them in. And we've also, the one on the end is the sticky back canvas blank. Is it any different from the big sheets? No, it's just smaller sheets and it's just handy. It's just easier to use. And they there I did the quotes and things like that on there. So there's those. We've also brought out the colouring sheets. Years ago I did colouring books for my mum. My mum used to love all this, but she couldn't stamp. She didn't want to stamp. She didn't want the messy stamps. I used to do colouring books for her. Um, and we had a line of them that went really well. So I wanted to do that again. And the inspiration, again, all the inspiration for things I do come from stuff that I've previously done. So there you can see that's, that was an original tag I made and then the art department took it and altered it for people to use, yeah. I like to say it was all me, but it wasn't. So I just did the original tag and then they did interpretations on the back. Is this gonna take away from sales of your stamps? No, because this is the size of the stamps and this is, a different, this is the different way it's being put together. And again, people who are frightened of dilutions and don't, people say, I don't know what to do with them. You know, she's got these stamps and they're only heads. What do I do? They're only bodies and things like that. So this, again, they can use these. If you're in my class, you saw lots of different ways that we did use them. The way I tend, this is a scrap that I just used on the bottom because I actually, I put them on the back of tags. I use them on all sorts. But um, on this paint, this one here, you can see this is um, this one and so what I did was I just coloured it in with my water brushes and then I just cut part of it out what you do with the rest of the part I just use them as and I would like to do borders 
round. On the board, the board is on the side, my stuff wraps right round. And the board on the side has got every sheet coloured in with my ink. Um, but it's also got, there's some shiny copies on there because the samples in class got stolen. So we, luckily we had photocopies of them so that people are like, why are they shiny? Because they're just the copies of them up there. So they've shown how to do them in tags. The paper itself is, it's not a watercolour paper. It's um, because a watercolour paper with my inks doesn't give me enough blendability. So it took ages, it took them a year of me. I'm so particular with my product. They're like, we found your paper. No, we found you another paper. No, they're coming in with sheets. But this one I love and it doesn't go through on the back. It's really important to me. But I know a lot of you use Copics. I've, I don't use them, so I don't know. People say, will it go through? I, I, I expect it will, because it goes through everything else. I'm, so I'm not sure, but that's why I only made them one-sided. It's not a colouring book. They just, the sheets just come out fully. It's meant to be. Um, and the thing is as well, and I'm sure the same with you all, I've bought all these colouring books. It's a big, you know, range. First of all, the paper's rubbish, isn't it, in half of them, for me, because I can't use these. If you use pencils, it's great, but also the designs are so small. Too small. I'm getting old, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Fun. You know, yeah, and it is. And they're meant to be really relaxing, and I'm like, oh. And then, you know, so I've tried to do, you know, nice big designs that us older people can see. And, and it's true, though, isn't it? 